A Fox 5 exclusive family speaking out after new body camera video shows an officer shooting and killing a man inside of his own apartment. Fox 5 Shamari Stone has that story from Suitland, Maryland. Melvin Jay was shot and killed inside an apartment in this building. A Prince George's County police officer was responding here to a 911 call about a breaking and entering. Tonight, Melvin Jay's family is very upset, devastated after seeing the body worn camera video. We want to warn you it is graphic and viewer discretion is advised. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Bring your over here. Show me your hands. Show me your Prince George's County police officer Braxton Shelton responds to the breaking and entering call dressed in his uniform at the apartment on Suitland Road February 1st. Police say Officer Shelton sees the front door unlocked, and then he appears to kick the front door open with his gun already drawn, finding 31-year-old Melvin Jay inside the apartment and commands Jay to show his hands. The video then shows Jay move towards the kitchen, and Officer Shelton fires one shot. Melvin Jay died in his apartment. Police say they found a gun in his pocket and a gun in the kitchen sink, although the gun in the kitchen is not shown on the body camera video. I interviewed Melvin Jay's cousin moments ago about the newly released video. We are hurt. We are just tormented by the video. The fact that we cannot hear him, hug him, say I love you, it's just devastating to all of us. And where do you go from here? We seek justice. We're going to allow this to unfold, allow the truth to come out, you know, and seek justice for my cousin because he deserves it. He did not deserve what happened to him. Attorney Andrew Clark is representing Melvin J's family in a civil suit that has yet to be filed. He says the shooting is not justified. For compliance to happen and for you still to be shot, what kind of world are we living in here today? Melvin J did not deserve to die. In all fairness, what do you say to some who may look at that video and say that Melvin did not comply to the officer's commands? Well, I ask you to sit in your home on your cozy couch and have somebody that you don't know that's coming into your house barge into your house and start making commands to you and see how you react to that. The Maryland Attorney General's Independent Investigation Division is leading the investigation into this police-involved shooting. As for the officer, well, he remains on paid administrative leave, and that's standard procedure. In Suitland, I'm Shamari Stone. Back to you. Thanks, Joe.